We're back in my car. You're probably thinking it's been a while since you started a vlog in the car. Because it has. I don't think I've drove this car in about a month. Because I hibernate. But not the kind of hibernation where I go to sleep. Hibernate as in stay inside. I thought today I would go on an adventure. My car is actually locked. Can I not go on an adventure? You know that thing that Ned Flanders say, howdy doodly? I've never been able to say it, but it's always in my head. Because I know that's one scene in Simpsons that keeps repeating. Side note. That's frosted over. If I stare at it, my hotness will melt it. So today I wanted to get out of the house. I don't know where I'm going to drive to. I'm legit got in the car and I'm just going to drive and see where I end up. <laughs> that did not sound healthy. It also says risk of ice. Oh, and now it's bleeping at me. So I'm going to see if I remember how to drive a car. Let's just crank up the airflow. Maybe that will do it. You're about to get blown away. My battery died, I tripped and fell over and landed in a car park. I've been driving around for a while trying to get good lighting for this vlog and it's just not happening. It's either too much sun or too little sun. So I'm going to try something in this video and I want you guys in the comments down below to let me know if this is something you want me to do. So basically I'm going to take a segment of this vlog and then it be a topic in which I discuss that topic. And if you enjoy my opinions and whatnot on this, then uh, you know we could do a topic each time and you guys can put your topics down below. Now I don't consider myself a smart person, book smart should I say but I think my emotional intelligence is up there I've said this before I love what makes people's brains do the things that they do and if you turn up to my streams you know that if you guys give me a subject I could talk about it for a while so I thought as I was driving here why not talk to you guys about the meaning of life and what Bakey thinks the meaning of life is a lot of people would look at me and think you have no life experience you're still living at home you've never had a normal job and that is very true I probably don't have a lot of life experience experience but what i say is that is that i've experienced a lot of things in life that people will never ever experience and to me that is awesome yes i may have lacked more life experience in that side but i've also gained so much experience in other sides and it makes me the person i am today the things that i've had to deal with in my life or the things i've had to experience is insane and i think that's what people forget so what does the bakey think the meaning of life is this could be a pretty short answer there is no meaning to life the meaning to life is whatever you think the meaning of life is is to you because guess what you've only got one life there's only one you and you decide what that is you do the things that you want to do what makes you happy and you stick with it because you got one time at it this is probably really deep but a lot of the time i imagine that i have like a wrist watch on and it's literally a countdown to my death and that's all this basically is a lot of things that i panic about or think are important in the grand scheme of things are really not important you know you've fallen out with your friend or you've had an argument and you think it's the end of the world but there is billions of people on this planet living their lives and you are very irrelevant <laughs> you've got this time slot and what you do in that time slot is down to you yes be considerate of others but also be selfish with your life if you're not living a life that you want to do why are you not living a life you want to do and how can you change that whoa i am getting so deep here it is weird to talk to you about serious stuff like this by the way i'm just sat in front of a traffic jam um so everyone is watching me as i talk to myself but that is actually very meaningful because we are little people sat in our little box on wheels going to our little shops or going to our little concrete homes it's just really funny when you think about it and really this should just be fun a lot of people don't like the mindset that i think in and if you'll be like well bakey you will panic about your job and having keeping a house over and stuff like that i know that i am not blinded i'm not oblivious i'm aware there's a lot of serious matters in life that you have to be cautious of and you can't just do what you want because money's a thing i'm talking about the things which aren't money value i can talk about money as another thing that's such a weird concept to me as well because we never actually see our money these days the probably most we see is like a five pound note here and there because we've got some cash in our wallet but it's just a digital number that goes up and down on the screen and it's just weird that just like we work a lot for it and it's just it's just 
mad. Like, this whole thing is just weird to me. And if I think about it too much, I actually probably freak myself out a little too much. I am one of those people that look up at the sky. And if I think too hard, it scares me how small we are. Human beings are funny individuals. Why put up with things in life that don't make you happy if you can change those things? I feel like you should go out there, write down the things that aren't making you happy and see what you can to do to solve that. And what time frame can you do to solve that? And figuring out if you can change that. Some things I know aren't changeable. Why live with stuff in your life that you are not happy with? It is a mad concept to me. A lot of people feel sorry for themselves when they could get off their ass and change stuff. But to round this up, I would say in conclusion, the meaning of life for me is to do what I want to do, have enough money that I can do that. I don't need a lot, just enough that I can do that. If I'm making less than what others are making, that doesn't matter because I'm doing something that I love. I have no idea where I'm going to be in five years. I just hope whatever I'm doing, I am passionate about it and it is my interest. And don't ever be embarrassed on what you want in life. For example, I really am looking forward to the day that I have a family. I am with one man who absolutely loves me, wants to marry me and wants to be old with me. And we sit there with our family and like that like you know to others may be a disgusting concept i've achieved my dream job tick and now i'm in the position of where i'm just enjoying my life doing the things that i want to do for the next couple of years let me know if you enjoyed the little segment of this video uh let me know if there's any other topics that you want me to talk about down below i'm sorry again for the lighting this is the only place i could find i love you guys so much i really really do and with the meaning in life i'm gonna drive this silly little box with four wheels home to my silly little house and my silly little family and go and play my silly little PC games. <laughs> well, I played my silly little PC games and I lost. And also, yes, I did get one of these big cups of water. They're called a Stanley Cup. Yes, this is a fake one, but I ain't spending the amount of money that people are spending on these. Thank you very much. It's a flask with metal inside. That's like spending more on one cardboard box than the other cardboard box. It's the exact same size. And it's green. I painted a horror duck on stream the other day and it turned out awful but I did paint a painting before that which actually turned out really well but look at this ghost there's some better lighting of it I don't know if to sell this one or keep it but I have no room for it also I cut another t-shirt as you can see I also went to the charity shop the other day and got these classic tracky bottoms the capital ones but yeah I've said what I wanted to say in this video and I hope you enjoyed it I'm gonna wrap it up here if you enjoyed give me a thumbs up and if you want me to do more topic videos let me me know in the comments down below i really want to know your feedback on this one if it's like sophie you talked waffle please don't ever do that again i respect it hit that subscribe button for more videos from me i love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and thank you so much for enjoying these random videos like i actually just press the record button and have no idea where these videos are going to go and sometimes nothing happens sometimes lots of time it's just it's good that i can just vlog whatever i want and people enjoy watching it so i appreciate you but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you very very soon with another video bye Bye.